All right. <clears throat> Today we are going to play some more Shadow. Um, switched out a Lightning Bolt for a Fatal Push. So now I got four pushes from the 75. Kind of help out with the Tarmogoyf decks, which have been showing up a little more lately. I know, you just got fed, Pity Boy. Just got them around more lately. So, besides that, not too many changes, so we might as well jump in for some games. Been a little less humans going around too, so we don't necessarily like have to answer that. Uh, excuse me, we don't have to answer that Mantis Rider. And this guy is still killing it. This guy plays Grixis Shadow. And he's just sitting atop the leaderboard. All right, we're already already paired up. Paired up, nice. All right, I already did something right. I keep this hand. It's a little slow, but we have stub on one. If we're playing against a fair deck, this hand's pretty solid. Watery Grave. We don't want that, so we'll just fetch in response to this bobble trigger. Fetch Redland. Find a <coughs> find a blue card. Or fetch a black duel, find a red card. I kill this no matter what it is. Oh, suspend search for tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> Might be in trouble here. There's like a little slow. All right, we're gonna push Steve. So I think I'm gonna dismember Steve. I'm so far away from draw from playing a shadow that I'm oh, there's no sense protecting my life total. We're just gonna dismember Steve. We do this because like we need to delve like it's not it's not pretty, but we gotta start delving. Our best draw would be to hit a thought scour. That's not bad. Oh, that's still pretty bad. Well, we'll just take the redraw. Lightning Bolt's not going to do anything. <clears throat> if we draw a land, we can play Gurmag Angler next turn. We can have Stub Snap Stub going on. Looks like they're just going to go on autopilot mode here. Colony Heart Expedition, that's bad. That's going to punish me for dismembering. <clears throat> All right, let's go and get Gurmag Angler into play. This one's gonna. This one's looking pretty pretty bleak. Let's ditch this, 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 and this, and we'll just play it. Cap steam vents because we don't want to be in an increment of three. Because we might be able to set them up where we do something like attack, hold up stub, bolt them. Because that's eight. That's nine, so that they fetch. But they can probably just like fetch here and kill the Gurmag Angler also. How's it going, Klebank? We're in a pretty tough spot here, regardless. Yeah, we're just playing Scape Shift. So 
Bruce Heath's gone. Oh, wife's out of uh, wife's not in tonight, Rafi. So we got we got some bonus bonus stuff going on. Oh, does this work? Because I see them all coming at the same time. No, two. Okay. Bolt me, you got another lightning bolt. Uh, just dead to a land drop. Which we know they have. Yep. Kind of a tough start. Maybe I should have mulliganed my six or my seven. But now we know what's going on, so we'll be a little bit better prepared. Should be able to win, win two in a row here on the draw. Or on the other sideboard. So I want this. I want these. They fell. I cut my fatal bushes, bring these in. That's pretty much it. Bolts in are good for reach. K command's like okay. K command might be better than Snapcaster Mage because of engineered explosives and just like making them discard when they're hellbent. And Snapcaster Mage is going to be a little bit worse because of Relic. Now we're just going to keep it. Let's bring in the counter spells. There's going to be aware of what's going on now. How's it going, Nameless? See, you're up to 24 trophies like an absolute savage. I need to get my slippers on. I forgot to put my slippers on. You feeling better? Good. We are back. They have thought. They have thought. Honestly, that's terrifying. I don't know how they cast it if they have it, Rafi. All right, this hand's pretty solid. Sad. So this hand's got a turn two angler. So we're going to keep it. There's no discard spells, but we're looting on one to hopefully find it. Probably just pitch two lands. You're almost never looting on turn one. I kind of want all of these spells. Oh, we're playing against Scape Shift, though. Oh, that was a nice draw. Oh, yeah, we change. Here's the mana base change. Okay. That's actually a dead fetch land. One, two, yeah. Is it? Nice. I don't really want any of these. <clears throat> yeah, 
You want the twin some music? Oh, I know who he is. We could just lose this. We could just get wrecked right here. As sad as this is, this is what we're doing. We, we actually just, like, have no protection because we ditched both of our fetchable blue lands on accident there. Yeah, it's, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but I know what you're talking about. Antonio Demoral, I think. Yeah, he's a twin player. He beat Justin Cullen, who played Amulet. So we're dead. Unless we draw like a discard spell or off the top here. Oh, we're dead. How am I gonna win? I guess I put this... Ah, I can't even go Bolt Snap Bolt. I forgot that we cut the Blood Crypt. Yeah, I guess we don't... We can't really afford to take either of these. Tilt. Deal six. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Oh, that's frustrating. That's just where I messed up there. I zoned out and forgot that I had uh, switched up the mana base. Which maybe be, because, like, I haven't gotten to play this too, too much. I mean, the mana base, like... Didn't 100% kill us there, but it's something that like caused me to have a little hiccup. There's something that like I, I missed in my first thing. Like, I only play one, two, three, four shocks. No, I just cut a shock land and just added a fetch land. Because like, there's a little less Field of Ruin running around. I want to make sure, without like four bobbles, I want to make sure I can delve. It didn't It didn't exactly like cost me the game there, but it did cause like a little hiccup. Which is worth paying attention to. See if we can pull out four in a row here. Yeah, there's not as many of them going around. We're on the draw. We roll a five and we're still on the draw. That's so sad to get skunked by Titan Shift like that. Yeah, his hand's nice. <clears throat> okay. So I'm thought seizing no matter what. So I think I'm going to hold this Street Wraith. I guess I'm going to Inquisition because I wouldn't mind hitting like an Amulet or a Pact. Here and then hitting a Grave next turn. Or hitting a Titan. 
Okay. That's nice. One, I actually want both of these put on top, put on top. My shadow's only had two, but it will grow next turn because I'm going to definitely thought these. <clears throat> a lot between Mario Pyro and Matilda. Not Mario Pyro, definitely more resilient. Feel me. Yeah, it's just a more resilient deck. It's got more staying power. So they played their gemstone mine. Here comes Teleria West. So they have one more Teleria West. Azusa. Oh, they're transmuting Teleria West. It's probably for like an engineered explosives. Maybe another pact. Hey, Archmage, how's it going? Yeah, it's an EE. We are going to thought seize that EE. Probably off of our blood crept and leave this up here. Okay, so we know their hand. No, we don't. They, they transmute this Larry West. Tired AF. You have a rough day or something, man? I think we're pretty content just beating for four here. We'll thought scour the end of our opponent's turn. And because they can't they can't play Primeval Titan. Adventurous Impulse. One, two, three, four. Sorry, because if they, if they find Titan, they can't cast it. Send a growth chamber. Okay. We're just going to bounce the pact. Pact because this becomes Summoner's Pact. Or another explosives. So much back, okay. <clears throat> nice. We have a battle rage in our graveyard. My opponent is in fact dead if they don't block. No, they're not, because we don't have battle rage. Shoot. I thought I had one more man out. I can cycle this and look for battle rage. They can ballista for two. I'm at three, they untap. We're already here. I did my math wrong here, which muffed me up a little bit. I'm actually looking for like another land drop for that. So we're not going to need this, and we're not going to need this. Yeah, we do have it. So we're good. They, they can't. They they're on no outs because they can't rip Primeval Titan and play it here.
Like they have to summoners pack for a blocker. Like there's no two card combination they can have, I think. Between Stubborn Denial and Dismember, we got everything caught. Because they can't cast it and play it. So this is an Azusa. I guess we just stub this. Dismember the blocker. Because they didn't have, well, one, two. Oh, they did have enough. Yeah, my fault. No, I just counted this for one. Missed that. We're still getting into it. Second match after we got rolled in round one. Okay. So against Amulet. On the draw, I actually like to cut some Snapcasters and like some Gurmag Anglers because oftentimes they'll they'll be able to Bajokubog lock us. Or not lock, but they're going to be able to get us with the Bog. And I like to bring in a little bit more removal because I just want answers to the... Uh, I want answers to a Braid and Tribe Scout on the draw. K commands a maybe. I have three pushes, which is a lot. But I have five ways to kill Tribe Scout on the draw. I'm just gonna go like this. Uh, I gotta get some more lights on in here. Give me more lighting. We have an answer to Tribe Scout, a Cantrip, and a Death Shadow. This hand's kind of slow besides that. They're on a mulligan. I'm going to keep. We have two Cantrips. And we got an answer to, uh, to uh, Tribe Scout. So this hand is like, not great. I'm basically keeping this hand because we have a Death Shadow. Put a card on the bottom. Amulet. Tilt. Hopefully we get to point this dismember at something. If we can do that, then we're in good shape. Oh, that was stupid. All right. Okay, so in response to the first trigger, wow, they don't have any more lands to play? That's wild. All right, fetch land. What's going on here? What are you okay? Tilt. It's probably another Azusa. Okay. That's pretty good. 
That means they're one land off prime timing, but they don't have any more lands. Actually, they're just going to be able to bounce and set up to go prime time next turn. So now I have to rip like a... Like, ripping red land into discard spell would be great. But they're just going to play a titan here. Yeah, they're just going to rip the titan. They've already played three lands, right? Yeah, now they pay one. They can't pack, they can't cast the Titan next turn. They get a Bayloth. Okay. Well, at least we have a pretty good, like, the Stable Stroke's a good pickup. Relic. All right, Relic doesn't really matter. So they have Relic and one unknown. This is a nice attack for the home team. A land here would be sick. So we go Titan. We could defend from a Titan. Nice. One, two. So they, we know their card. They don't have a land. They don't have a land. They have a Relic. One, two, three, four, five. What do they keep returning? They keep returning. Lady the Senate's growth chamber, personal attack. Turns gem to sell mind. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever think that Bayloth is very good against these Death Shadow decks. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's not good. It's not bad, but it's not really good. Like, they're just going to blow it up. At least their amulet's gone. I guess I just go get a tap land. Like, there's no sense. If I go get, take three, go to two, that means I can get blistered. That gives me a revolt, which is worth thinking about. So I'm actually just going to hold on to this because it gives me revolt. Why not push the bay loss? Oh, that would have been so good. I'm all over the place tonight. Yeah, we're still warming up. Pushing the bay off would have been good. Should have done that in the upkeep. Yeah, no, that would have been right. Am I muted? 
I hope I'm not muted. My thingamajigger says I'm not muted. No, that was definitely a mistake. Summoner's pack. So this goes and gets Walking Ballista, which is not good. We can counter Walking Ballista. Depends on like how greedy they get with it. Primeval Titan, okay. One, two, three. What if I kill this Azuzo with this on the stack? What happens? It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I just smoked this. Yeah, I just smoked this Azusa right now. Right, I'm not crazy here. They have, they must have a land. No, they have a land in their hand that makes sense because that's that's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, they just give the thing. So I gotta pay attention to this. Because of this Slayer Stronghold. So confused with what's going on here. I, don't, I have no idea what's happening. Because now I just go like... Push, push, they pay for their pact, and then we likely just kill them on the next turn. I'm so confused what's happening, because they have to pay for their pact, and I don't really think there's anything they can do. I guess I can just push the Bayloth, hold another push, and then like deal with this. I'm just trying to figure out like what is going on. If I push them both, it gives them less draws to walking ballista. Okay. Yeah. I was just trying to figure out like how do I lose and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, my opponent was probably just figuring the deck out. Oh, Titan Shift. I got destroyed. I don't think you can mulligan hands like this, but they aren't great. Opponent mulligans. I think I'm going to draw that 
Steam Vents. Oh, Moto's losing it. Draw that. Flooded strands. Hollow the fountain. Ether vial. Okay, so we're playing against Bant spirits or blue white spirits. From the bottom, from the bottom. We're going to be pretty conservative with our life total. All right, get this Geist of St. Traft out of my face. Yeah, we did not have a hand that was very good at fighting miracles. Oh, that's annoying. That is super annoying. I could just go snap Serum Visions. And if they just want to take their thing off the board, that's fine. But I kind of want to have my Snapcaster Mage actually accomplish something. So I think I'm just going to push this. Because they're not going to put the Phantom in on their turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to Snap Serum. Like, if they want to do this... If they want to trade this thing, like if they want to turn my Snapcaster Mage into a removal spell anyways, I'm alright with that. They're going to crack me for two next turn, then I can go push Bolt. Yeah. So we got Doomblade, we didn't even use a mana for it. And like this is that's fine. Or well, Snapcaster Mage traded with a two one for two mana and as a body. So like I think we're okay with this. So we know my opponent's hand Supreme Phantom and X. Oh, this is not gonna go well. I hope they have a spell queller here. Yeah. Oh, all right. I bolted that because I thought a spell queller was coming down. I also didn't really want to get my bolt like countered, but now we look stupid. They didn't crack their canopy. It would be nice this shadow was four points bigger. If we can turn it on, it'll lock it up. So they have a collected company in their hand, because they would be cracking these if they didn't have company. We're going to have to do some thinking. That's a nice draw. I 
Could have dismembered my own. No, I can't. That doesn't add up. What do they have in their hand? They just must have like nothing but collecting companies. Huh. This works no matter what, even if they have a spell caller because we target it because of how Phantasmal Image works. So they can't win because they need creature plus uh, plus path, and we have creature and path covered. As if it's Geist. Like, Geist would have bought them a turn there. All right. Okay, so... Against Banned Spirits, we want our Snapcaster Mage, the Abrade, the Lava Men, and the Fatal Push. Fifty-nine. I don't know how many stubborn denials just was keeping this matchup. I hover between like one and three because, like, on the draw, I want more answers to, excuse me, rest in peace. Because, like, right now we've got nine ways to deal with rest in peace on turn two. Unless they mausoleum wander me, which I'll puke if that happens. And I don't think command's all that great. All their things have three toughness. this out. I guess not all their things have free toughness. That's a bit of an overstatement. The nice thing is they have Geist in their deck. They probably don't have Rattle Chains. His hand is gas. We're going to lose to a rest in peace, though. If my opponent doesn't have rest in peace, they're super dead. I'm going to look at my top card. If my top card's a stub, then I might not play this Lob Mancer. If I hit a discard spell here, Noble Hierarch. What can Noble Hierarch do for me? Little Hierarch can't really do anything. Because we can't beat Rest in Peace now anyways. So let's just go get a Steam Vents. I think Geist's going to kind of suck.
Yeah, that kind of sucks. We do Gurmag Angler too. Oh, this was stupid because this gets exalted, so I can't even eat it. I had to do that anyways to get that. I could have gone with a Lava Mancer. Man, I'm not playing super well tonight. Just kind of going full bonehead. We got more of those things. That's nice. So I get cracked for six. And maybe the Snapcaster Mage will be able to effectively block. We didn't even hit a land so that we could like bolt something. Gross. I think I'm just like super dead anyways here. Got greedy with the hierarchy. Didn't think about the Geist. I'm not playing super well tonight. Man. Man, I'm all over the place. All right, well, we're on the play. I'm really sad I lost that game. My hand was dynamite. Tough one to lose. Tough one to lose. So like Like if I didn't get geist in there, it's pretty much all set, but this hand's not good enough. This hand is great. Put that on top so that we can uh, thought seize like a discard spell next turn. All right, let's see if we can not mess up this lava man draw. So maybe a vial is a little annoying.
Okay. The more sword player it kind of shuts me down. Mausoleum Wanderer I can deal with. The Drogs Called Captain is kind of the most scary card. Because if they ever maneuver to... Like, if we don't take the Drogs Called Captain, we're just playing with fire. I don't really want to play with fire. They'll probably violin the remorseful, put the remorseful cleric into play, and I will shoot it. They'll sack that I can regrow with the. Um, that's actually pretty nice. <clears throat> I kind of just want to take this spell caller. I don't really think any of these cards. Well, spell caller is going to be so annoying. If I had two red sources, I might be able to handle the spell caller because I can go like vial on two spell caller and then like have a phantasmal image for it. I think I'm just going to take the Remorseful Cleric, because that lets me keep my graveyard stocked. If we can kind of be willy-nilly with this, well, taking this without taking the Spell Queller is going to be so annoying. I'm just going to take this Queller. And then just shoot this now while we have a graveyard. Jace comes in against any deck with Thoughtseize or Snapcast Major. Okay, so that's what they drew. Okay. I'm likely going to thought scour myself if they crack this. Oh, it just lets them get the cleric in, though. Just in case this is a Thalia. If it is a remorseful cleric, then I'll just shoot it. If it's not, then I'll bolt it. Just going to keep everything off the battlefield. Three. There's their planes. That's a nice draw. So we know they have a phantasmal image and two unknowns. They have spell crawler plus drug skull captain. We're in trouble. 
But I think I think they have a spell caller. Okay. Here, I think I just take path. And then bolt this right now. now I'm just gonna take the phantasmal image. I'm gonna unlock my Snapcaster Mage if my opponent wants to path my Grim Lava Mancer, then that's okay. That's what they drew. They don't want to get into like some shenanigans where they reflector they can image the reflector mage. I could do here is I could snap could shock those snap thought sees if they don't have another three drop then that gets them but I also could just play my lava mancer They want to path this, they can path it. It's going to unlock our Snapcaster Mages. Keeps our life total higher as well. All right. Okay. I think I'm just going to snap bolt this. My opponent has a Drog Skull Captain. We get a little wrecked here. We have so much mana. Let me just untap. Tilt. All right, I'm going to snap bolt this thing in the upkeep. God, if they have a spell caller or a drug call captain, we're in trouble. Watchful there. Okay. We ain't gonna win no games drawn like that. And we're due for we're due for our boy. Same clock. Oh shoot! I keep forgetting that I cut the second blood crypt. Damn it! 
I might have to just play with the uh, second blood crypt so I don't do that at the, t at the weekend, at the tournament this weekend. That's the second time I've, I've messed that up. It's the first time I've been playing since I cut that. That's the second time that I muffed that up. We're dead as a doorknob. God, that just didn't line up. I'm, I'm a little sad to have lost that game. Like, we didn't draw a big guy, but I feel like that one was, that that one, there was a like a, an avenue to victory there, which frustrates me. <clears throat> oh fine this is the first time i've played the deck i've been i've been playing a lot of standard lately because i gotta figure out what's going on we are one and two in this league riffraff we lost we lost a solid matchup which kind of sucks. And then we didn't find a Death Shadow against Band Spirits. I, th I think we had it all set up besides that. We just, there wasn't a Death Shadow in the top 20 cards. Sometimes that's how she goes. Open pair, sweet. All right, I would like to play first. There's a reflect illusion, but I'll play at the game. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Take a lot of damage. You need like a, de a death shadow would be sweet. I'm not gonna cycle this because we don't have a death shadow and there's a lot of points to take. A lot of damage, I mean. Okay, nice. This is the thing in the ice deck. I'm kind of tempted to take this lightning bolt because like we're gonna be doing a lot of damage to ourselves. If we don't have a death shadow, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take this bolt. Because, like, if they do their thing, they're just going to kill us. And it, it kind of sucks just taking a random cantrip. I'm going to cycle my street rate before I do anything next turn. I think I'm fetching the island, I think. Kind of want both of these. Cannot thought scour my opponent though. So we're gonna be on a little bit of a slow draw. Alright, they hit a Phoenix. But I think we're just gonna dismember this thing in the ice. And then go nuts. Oh man, if that's okay. We're just returning this thing right now. Yeah, we are. Hey, Jack, how you doing? 
All right, so I ditched their thing and their steam vents. So I think I'm just gonna smoke this. Nice. Because we can go psych, we're gonna, this is gonna put us a four. Like, just not doing anything, it's, it's only one more point of damage, we might as well deal with this. We want both of our top cards. So hit this. Now, do I have to... So we have a Blood Crypt on top of my deck. Shock, go to eight. We're matching flannels? Dude, heck yeah. It's, it's winter time, baby. So cycle, go to go to eight, shock, go to six, and I'm not really in for that life. But I don't know if just playing one death shadow is gonna be enough to win me this game. But with the battle rage, it's really not gonna take that much. And we can afford to play it slow. Parameters Ascension. Whoa. Dude, that Pyre Matches Ascension is kind of scary. I'm just going to yield through this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this first. Attack for five. I think I'm just gonna shock. God. Maybe I just play the Gurmag Angler and pass and hold my land so that next turn I have the option to deal myself four damage, which makes the shadow a seven, which means the shadow is 14, which means likely the shadow and the Gurmag Angler have to be blocked. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I did not. I'm not sure. I tend to think there's a lot of fair decks whenever I go to these uh, go to these big events up here. <clears throat> All right. So now they're gonna start copying their spells. They have two phoenixes. Two phoenixes doesn't kill me though. Nameless is the trophy leader. Oh, that kills me. Oh, it doesn't really kill. Oh no, double the double bolt kills me. And is that that returns the arc light phoenixes? And we dead. All right, let's get out of the ley line of the voids going on here. Okay. A 
I kind of want another push. I don't want lightning bolts. I'm going to keep in some number of dis dismembers in case they have like um, unless they've got something like Crackling Drake or Bedlam Reveler. I'm not really in for Snapcaster Mage. Like this isn't really going to be a Snapcaster Mage match I don't think. Yeah, we're gonna go like this. It's uh, any deck with Thought Seeds or Snapcaster Mage in it. Mulligan. That's pretty solid. That's right where we want that. Um, Alright, we're taking a lot of damage. We're going to need a Death Shadow quickly. Alright, we're just going to take their best cantrip. I think Pyromancer is like fine. I'm pretty sure that uh, like I, I want another threat. Nice. Uh, let's go fetch. I want another threat that doesn't interact with the graveyard. And like young Pyromancer is okay at that. It's a card that's like worth playing. I mean, we gotta cast them. They hit their land. What a joke! I kind of want to just take the, one of these thought scours because it's gonna dump cards in their graveyard, which means I'm like gonna go find phoenixes. Jason's a bit harder. It's obviously harder to cast. I mean, once you put Jason to play, it's gonna win a game, but. Um, Metamorphos is annoying. Thought Scour is annoying as well. Thought Scour is going to like enable their game plan, and I can't really beat their game plan. I think I'm just going to take a Thought Scour. As mopey as that is. Might be a quick league for the home team. All right, so I know they were a thing. Okay. This is going to get me a tapped watery grave. <clears throat> I don't want either of these. So they're through two things. Hand's kind of anemic. Oh, uh, we didn't hit. Okay. Hopefully, they didn't get a faithless looting. Is it worth taking three to just put this into play? We have a bolt. I'm going to Thought Seize them first. Or any position them. I don't really want to go to seven when they have so much in the terms of like so much reach. Fetch a tap land, play ley line. 
uh, I yield until next unstep. Probably ditch the Phoenix. What the hell? So I know they have a lightning bolt. And that's it. I'm going to hold this because we have a Phoenix, or we have a Faith of Looting in our deck. Alright, that's consumption. Tilt. Tilt. And my shadow has been shy this league. Okay, they just remand faith of looting. Thing. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. All right, so they play Remand, which means we probably should try to keep most of our graveyard intact. Hang on, I'm just going to do it for three so that I can recast it and bluff like Stubborn Denial. Black guy. All right, we got step one. We got Gerdad going. We got a lot more. What do we got? We've got three more fatal pushes in our deck. A Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, we did flood a lot here. We put a card on the top. Not bad. Probably gonna counter anything. Like even if it counters a cantrip at this point. I'm gonna counter this just in case they have a way to like uh, go like cantrip, put a counter on this, double bolt me, kill me. If they double bolt, kill my. Well, I guess that that doesn't matter. That doesn't make sense anyways because they just double bolt, kill my Gurmag Angler, or flip their thing and kill me. So. Put a card on top, so they could have like Arc Light Phoenix Bolt, but no, we're just like super dead here. Yeah, but like if we know they have a bolt, if they have a, they had they had what two unknown cards and they kept a card on top, they easily could have like bolt bolt Arc Light Phoenix. Yeah, we're good here. I'll take one more draw step. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, that was gross. That was gross. I think in situations like that, you got to fire your counter spells off because, like, you're so close to dying that you, like, there's no sense dying with them in your hand. You know, like, I think there's a combination of cards where it was good to get rid of that. So let's go drop. 